Dr. Wolk, Dr. Park, it's time for you two residents to get back to work. I'm not leaving. Me neither. Gutsy. Coming from a second year who already killed a patient. And you really ought to take lessons from your girlfriend. She knows how to play the game. Audrey, Leah, Aaron, I'm sorry, but I have to terminate your employment immediately. You were saying? Go. Go. Is that your plan? Make us look like disgruntled former employees? You think that's gonna stop us from going public? No, of course not. But I think this research will. Despite your generous salary, you were a no-show for months, making wine in your garage, vacationing in Montana, all after years of intervening to excuse your protege, Dr. Murphy's erratic behavior. You hired your boyfriend, then fired him once the relationship soured. Classic sexual harassment. That's not it. He quit. You secretly changed hospital metrics to help your fiance. Right now, you've only lost your jobs. Go public, and I release all this. Jail, Hawks, and Colson are out. The reporter? She'll still talk to us. It's still a good story. Just much shorter than planned. Was she right? Are we wasting our time? Probably. The pension fund's annual meeting is in two days, right? Yeah. We meet the reporter there. Big public setting, denounce Salen in front of the investors. Create a viral moment. That might do some damage. She could ruin me and tech. I'm in. Speaker's list for the pension fund's annual meeting. Glassman, Lim, that's hardly a surprise. Murphy, Wolk, Park, and Resnick. Surgery go okay? Those doctors speaking out at the pension meeting, I think they're right. We should go meet with them right now. I'm not hiring them back. At least hear them out, their concerns, their suggestions. Let's come up with some compromises. Get them to agree to not be at the meeting. Marcus, you're being incredibly naive. You may lose. It's possible. You'll lose more than this hospital. I need to go get ready for tonight. you have here? I wrote off a trip to Cabo, had an affair with a state senator. How about research on me? I've made mistakes personally, professionally, they're all there. If you're gonna go through with this deal, you're gonna have to destroy me. Walk away. You have every reason to not want this deal. The board will not fight you. I'm sorry. Me too. Well. Good luck, because now this is all your problem. Fourth grade, 
I always got picked on and beat up in the locker room before gym class. My gym teacher, Mr. Carl, tried to get the other kids to stop. That just made it worse. So he told me if I stopped coming to gym class, he'd give me a B anyway. So I stopped. Okay. I still got bullied. Just not in the locker room. All Mr. Carl did was make me feel weak and useless. The same way you felt when I changed your scores. You are a flawed, messy, and totally wonderful human being. You're definitely good enough for me. I'm sorry, you, Sean. I promise. I trust you. Thank you. But at some point, you'll feel worried and insecure, or I'll feel messy, and we will fight again. I don't want to. Neither do I, Sean. Jordan's couch is not comfortable. But my point is... Next time I feel insecure, I'll ring the cowbell. I think we're going to need more than the cowbell. We're going to need a lot of hard work.